John, I have a gift for you. It's your own tank. Thanks. You always wanted a main battle tank. Here, I got, uh, Brick see. Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. There's a glove. What? <clears throat> Today on Brickmania TV, John is showing off his latest model, the all-new K2 Black Panther. That's correct. That, right? that is right. So what do awesome we have name, here? Awesome name, right? Yeah, that's cool. That is a really cool name. It is the K2 Black Panther. It's South Korean's version of the main battle tank. Nice. Which means if they get in a battle, and it's a main battle, this is the tank for that. Lesser battle tank. <laughs> Lesser. A minor skirmish This tank. is the tank for taking it, duking it out with the other main battle tanks. Very cool. There's a, most of these main battle tanks have a lot of similar sort of advanced technology, right? Mm -hmm. This one has something called the um, KSTAM, which stands for Korean Smart Top Attack Munition System. So what they basically do is they shoot this thing out with a parachute. Mm, deploys a parachute. Once KSTAM reaches its target, it deploys a parachute. So the projectile what? goes out, deploys a parachute, right? It identifies the targets through a wave radar inf infrared system, right? So it's looking for other tanks to, to destroy. And then fires an explosive penetrator into the thin top armor. So what it's doing basically is finding, finding where the tank is, identifying the top of the tank, and then it shoots a projectile into the top armor, which is not as, of course, heavy as the side. So I thought that was, unfortunately, war, you know, it is what it is, but yeah. That's that's a uh, that's pretty crazy. They can do that. It is crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's an awesome when you when you think about the technology involved. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You've got and you've got a really cool. Let's just talk. Let's go right to the tanker himself. Right, right to which the tanker. Which you designed. Sure. I did. The, I designed. I oh, am yeah. the oh. a camo, which I think is really cool on this yeah, one. It's a. Uh, I believe it is called Granite B. So that uh, I hadn't encountered this camouflage before, and it's it's interesting looking. It's you know it's based off of I guess granite, right? Um, so you get different tones in there that aren't super common to camouflage patterns. So you got kind of uh, some more subtle tones, and it's real nice. It's real very, nice. very cool. And he's got his he's got his headset, so he can talk to the rest of the the crew, and he can talk to the uh, he's the commanders and so forth. So you included some uh, additional items there. You have a nice right. So one. okay. So granted, I, I did my research. I want to know what what things are like popular in South Korean culture, right? Sure. So my research, um, of course, kimchi, everybody loves kimchi, right? So that just seemed like that was an easy, easy one to figure out. So we provided you. You got to um, set that right here. You got to set that right there. Yeah, we put that right there. So a little bottle of kimchi that you can take it's on, adorable. The, on the. It is really cute. Um, Slam does the sticker creation, mm -hmm. as usual. So he not only did that, of course, he did these very, very cool stickers on the side of the tank. And the, um, this, this pattern here, the stickers on top of it, you know, we call it our um, signature brick-built camouflage. There we go. But to um, break up some of the pattern, this particular tank uses these sort of a s squiggly Squid markings. Squiggly markings. Squiggly. <laughs> technical term. Squiggly markings on there to further break up the patterns, I suppose, based on the sort of um, environment that they're in. This would help camouflage them in squiggly land. In squ <laughs> what? in the forest or in the forest of squiggles, John. Mountains or whatever. What what's this tank too, which I was I think I was reading about it, um, can go up to thirteen feet underwater. So you'll see some if you look up this the Black Panther and if awesome. you if you use the Google machine, stole that from the other old old people on on uh, TV that talk about Google. The Google machine You'll see it with these, like this, this huge cone coming out uh, yeah. over the top of it, which is for them to be able to actually go very far underwater. You'll see the barrel sticking up like this. It's also breathing. And actually, when they do go underwater, they're traveling this way. So you see the barrel backwards, and they are actually using that long extended snorkel to actually be able to ford rivers. Yeah. Again, up to about 13 feet deep, which is pretty impressive. So that's right. It's really, you'll see a whole. You'll see a picture of them with a whole bunch of these tanks all underwater, 
all with these snorkel things sticking out and with the barrel sticking up like this. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty interesting to see anyway. So what the tank itself has as a the kit, you've got four opening hatches actually. There's two on top here on the turret. There's one back here. I'll turn it around slowly. <laughs> slowly. So there's one back here. There's a hatch back here in the back of the tank near the engine compartment. Um, again, two on top. Let me put this down. Two on top, one for the commander and one for the, um, the um, boom guy. <laughs> the guy that fires the, fires the weapons. The shooting man. The shooting man. The, uh, why can't I think of what this Cody's called? The, the, the gunner. Excuse me, the gunner. Okay. So we'll put him back in yes. this position here. And there's another hatch on the front. If it would stop falling off. You bumped it. You bumped it. Oh, in field repair. What did I do? I believe in you, John. I screwed up something here. Anyways, the point I was going to make about that particular one, if I would quit knocking it off. Uh oh, knock it off, John. Is you can actually, you take, you, what you have to do is you take the top off. You yeah. can actually stick a minifig inside with his head sticking out. Open this hatch up so you can have him, because that would be. Keeping his head out. That would be where the driver would be, right? So he can actually have his head sticking out of there. So what we do, I think I was explaining this last time. I build the front of the um, tank, basically, this front armor here, and then rebuild it by taking out pieces that I don't really need and sure. you know, sort of redesigning the structure of it so it's strong, but you can actually have the guy's shoulders. Because if you look at a minifig, now this minifig, he's is not he, having a good day. Is he okay? Yeah. This is a neck, neck shot Nick. Mm. Um, is he always like that? If you look at the, maybe I should take the, the this <laughs> off here so you can see. If you look at the distance between, <laughs> that's real nice. How high his head is and where his shoulders are, you have to have a bit of room. With Lego, Lego's parts can be rather thick. So what we did is again a dug out inside of here, so you can actually get the minifig in there if you wanted. Nice. So you can you can add some more minifigs of your own to the crew, and you know, put a gunner, put a driver, whatever you want. Put as many whatever in there that you can fit. Absolutely. That's all I can tell you. So that's cool. Um, other than that, you know, you have your elevating and depressing gun. Uh, very depressing. Very depressing. Um, what was the uh, rolling tracks? Rolling tracks. Oh, hey, we're kind of missing one kind of major feature here that we. Oh my have. goodness! It's hard at work. Holy moly! Holy How can moly. we forget that? Yeah, this this tank has a uh, brand new prototype wheel yep. that we made ourselves in-house. <laughs> so you have a total of, I Secret believe, that. 28 of these custom, yeah. two different color um, wheels that the person actually filming right now is the one, the mastermind behind these wheels. He's oh, waving. Oh, he's waving. He's oh, waving. Yeah. He's waving us off. Okay, escape. Uh, so they're very, very cool. Mm -hmm. So. We at Brickmania, of course, we're always trying to take things to the next level. So we're starting to introduce, as customers have seen with other products, the muzzle brakes, nice. the Vulcan um, gun on the VADS, uh, the M113. So we're, we want to use much, as much Lego as possible, but Lego doesn't make every single part we need. Right. So we decide, we've decided to push the envelope a little bit. We want to give customers something that's always spectacular. Right. So I think... Uh, this takes it up another yeah. notch. What's, uh, these, these what's really unique about this, this wheel system, and I think a camera guy and Cody were really kind of pushing and designing this thing. Um, it's actually more of like a system almost if you think about it. It works with all three of our track link sizes. Um, right. They can be combined in a bunch of different ways. And, you know, we can get, you know, we, it's stuff that you can't quite do with Lego. You, you can get close with, with a lot of pieces, but right. again, the quantity. But it may not be the color you want. Or the quantity it's, just isn't there. Or the know, quantity, there's, yes. There's a hundred in the world, and, you know. And just, just for, for uh, sake of argument, the, or I should say sake of explaining, there is two wheels behind each one of these. Sure. So that, you're right, it, for the double wide track, Two wheels is a perfect spacing. Yeah, they can be combined in unique ways. It's cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So, I mean, that just makes the, 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 the set itself just that more awesome, mm -hmm. incredible. So, again, you've got the, what is this, 850 new condition elements from Lego. 
in a beautiful, okay, I'm taking, I'm patting myself on the back for a beautiful camouflage pattern. Plus we have the stickers, which brings it to the next level of realism. The next, next level. Next, next level we can't because. can't keep track of these levels anymore. We do take into consideration, of course, what the real thing looks like. We want it to look <laughs> like the real, so. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, detail, yes. uh, to, the, to the detail that, you yes. know, it, it does have these sort of rack systems on the side. I'm just giving you a hard time, it's yeah. cool. It's, uh, it's uh, accurate. Yeah, well, you know, what it looks like on the back, the grilling system, the wheels, the, the camouflage, so, sure. so all of it works together to make a, a beautiful addition to your uh, main battle tank collection. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I guess with that, unless you want to show up any one last thing. Nope. Nope, nope, that's it. All right. Uh, I think we're good. That is John Canepa's all brand new K2 Black Panther main battle tank. Of course, you can actually put, you have a little space back there. You can, you can put the uh, Next Shot Nick back there and, and uh, well, he's. We'll get him back. He's not doing too good, but. Uh, no. But you do have a little space Next Shot there. Nick is sold separately, unfortunately. Next Shot Nick, yeah, so, okay, Next Shot Nick, sorry. <laughs> With that, that is the episode of Brickmania TV. Uh, for more information, please check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching. Ding. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. Right.